he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Let's begin our class. Potions is one of the most challenging Professor and hazardous Shah. subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Oh my freaking goodness, I miss studying. <laughs> Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. <laughs> Stir, Calderon. Stir, please. I'm like a witch making potions. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Yay. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from Thank what I hear you. of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Correct. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. Hey, can I talk? My Wigan Well potion's oh, utter rubbish. Oh, this is, yeah. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. <laughs> we are in the same table. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. And Imoda is here too. We are in the same table. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about That's the Wigginwell so potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigginwell potion on their first try. Well done. I was really. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Oh, another class, I guess. Astronomy. My um. parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Okay, let's talk to Professor you. Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. <laughs> I need it a lot, you know. Okay, let's fine job brewing your first Wiccan Wild potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Okay. 
collect Ashwin the eggs. Uh, what? Valia. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Ah, yes. You heard correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? Same question. She's my aunt. Keeps too ah, close an eye on me see. for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, Perhaps you could grab it for me. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. I'll get you the Fwoopa Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back <laughs> to me when you have the feather. Alright, I will help you. Remember, precision is key to brewing potion. Ah, uh, 1875, wow, that is so long, so many years ago. Okay, Borgit and Brooks has had an increase of amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that we have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Ah, this must be the feather that he wants. <laughs> Super! And the eggs. Okay, cool. Your potion station's organized and free of clutter. Right, yeah. Here's Get the first feather want. you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. <laughs> my friends are so funny. Uh, where's my place? Oh, here. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Okay. Um. Okay, I need to... Craft this, yes. A potion that enhances the Grinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Okay, 14, 13, I'll just wait. This really looks like the mobile games. I truly love this. <laughs> and now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh oh. Get it. Uh oh. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Oh man. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. <laughs> That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh-oh. I'll have to talk to Professor Sharp about this. Uh, let's talk. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. Okay, I'm no. surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> I'm sorry about I'm that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was 
skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Thank you, Professor. I learned a lot for today's class. So, what now? Inventory. Okay. Quest. Um. Oh yeah, I need to go and grab my plants. Where is it? Ah, here. Yay, I can collect. Get away from here and okay, take a look of all these ingredients I have here. So many. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we can do now. Quest. Um okay, let's track this quest. Uh, you know what guys, I guess I'll be doing these um, three set quests off camera, yeah. So I'll be doing these quests right now and we are going to end the episode, okay. No path available for Oh uh, let's see my map Oh I see so this quest is not oh well I guess I have to go and find Natty then because I think while I am fighting those enemies along the way uh, this quest will be updated yeah right so let's go and find Natty this is pretty far away I have to get out from this place at a waypoint here. Let's go. It should be a long way to go. And I didn't visit my common room for so long. Hey, what's that? I really have made a mess of things. Oh, a quest. Wait, 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 guys, let me talk to her first. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. 
think we're maybe in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Um, that's amazing. Seems a lot of fun just to carry books. Okay. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Uh, why did our meat tell on Why you? did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Right, if I have the time... I suppose time. I could help if I have the time? Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather Ooh. it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Alright, sure. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with this. Nope, I can't do anything. Huh. Okay, let's go and help her. Collect Cressida's flying books from the library. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Yes. Got it. Um, Only four more to go. Yep. Ooh, I got a new clothes. Flying book. Just go upstairs. I love using Akio skills. What? I can't get up? Okay, I can. <laughs> ah. Nice. Okay, what's this? Rebellion. The old librarian, one of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. Wow. I see. And his clothes is like wearing a Chinese traditional suit. Yeah. Okay, okay, one more book to go. Where is that? Rebellion. Ah, it's at downstairs. Let me just 
just get down and grab the book, the final book. Yes. yes. That's the last book. Ha. Now to take them back to Cressida. I guess this is the diary that she refers. Today was a good day, that is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous co co concoction he was creating all over my perfectly still lace ring. Flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a man, he thinks he knows everything, there is no all about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Uh, Prof smoked this again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. I'm so sorry that I read your diary, Cressida. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Uh, uh, have sorry what to keep a, the diary a secret. Uh. Okay, wait. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank <sighs> goodness some people are any. trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Okay. I guess the second option is to view her diary. <laughs> is to keep her diary, I mean. Okay, let's go to Lower Hawksville and find Nettie. So nice to be out here. Ooh, what a nice, beautiful place. Whenever I stay in, in the Hogwarts school, it always makes me forget that I'm actually playing a, an open world map game. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said that oh, travel wait, broadens yeah. the mind. It's right there. I wish I have a mount or something so that I can travel faster. I don't have to run. I don't know if I'm going to get tired. No, she doesn't look tired. <laughs> wait. Let me stand near here. Nice. I already activate this flu flames. This classroom always oh, over here. There are a lot of classes. I guess I'll be going to that beast classroom one day what's this oh okay oh moonstone I see let's go get this Getting close to 
to the lower Hawksville. I can't wait to see Natty and Hermione can really run <laughs> non-stop all the way from Hogwarts school and I don't see any enemies here too so nice so peaceful unlike the other games that I have to fight with every enemies I see can I kill those chickens? no I can't oh I can't carry this oh I hope you don't get uh, hurt okay okay I'm so sorry <laughs> I didn't know I can get to this could prove dangerous if I'm pull careful. them over to me. Okay. I didn't really hear what Hermione was saying earlier. I guess she mentioned this place is dangerous or something. Ah here you are. It is good to see you, my friend. Hi. Hello Natty, how are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm alright at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, I can't say. They want something I found. Uh, okay, these I've there. never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. Uh. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I see. I'm glad to Good. hear it. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Hey, I got a Be best on friend. your guard. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can't imagine your pardon. How oh. dare you threaten me? Ooh, Nettie is What's not going here. on here. Quest complete. Help the stranger. Yes, let's go and help. Trails of Malini. A woman needs help just across the water beyond the dock. Yeah, is this a main quest? Yes, it's part of the main quest and these assignments I can't do this um, because I really need to get into a fight and this quest will be updated. Yeah. Oh, I got a gear. Oh yes, a new clothes. This. Okay, why not? This where it is. Uh, reset appearance. 
Okay. Let's see. Can I remove this? Oh, so this is how I look like. Okay, I like this better. Okay, four one zero twenty six seven forty one. Oh yeah, I got a new one two gray. Oh, oh, I don't really like this. I prefer this. Okay. Okay, let's go and. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, I see another quest there. Wait, let me talk to this. I must have come this way. First. Think. I've no what idea happened? who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. <gasps> Students, you can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. No! Leave her alone. Stupid right! Now you've done it. I refuse to be treated in this manner! There will be more of that. Wow, even more enemies. Uh, the collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. Oh, you may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells, dueling feats. What? Oh, let me attack. Oh. We can hold them all. I'm not going anywhere. You take this. You can talk of my dead body. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> okay, let's talk. Are you okay? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who what? piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical oh. hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant so potionist, she is has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. L. <laughs> She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Research? How interesting. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. How fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. 
No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, must be this. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Okay, let's I have the mellow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a yes. stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mellow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. How do I place them? A soft... Oh, okay, here then. I thought it's that one. <laughs> wow! Word. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do uh, now? Ah, there. Yeah. Hmm. This is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Uh. Okay. Revelio. Maybe I have to burn it. Yep, this. Okay. Incendio, Merlin's beer. Ah, nice. The flames make the pyre sink. Okay, this too. are meant to be lit. Oh. I guess I have to be quick. Ah yes, I have to be quick. <laughs> wow, so beautiful. Yes, indeed. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Yeah, let's talk to you again. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so and much. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yay. Quest complete. Wow. She kept all these stuffs. This is so interesting to see. And she's gone. Wow. So interesting. <laughs> oh. Fruits here. Scrub. What is that? Find scrubs not in the courtyard. What? Uh, okay, a map. Oh, back 
in school. Okay, wait. Let me explore the outside school place. Ah, that guy. Let me go and talk to this guy first. Hey, you seem lonely here. Oh, it's a lady. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes. we are from the My same name is common Grace room. Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedley? Common house, I mean. I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh, yes, sounds fun. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. <laughs> the Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Okay, what is an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's oh, an astonishing astrolabe. ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Okay, I have to think it about this. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. All right. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Yeah. Dive down in the black lake and find. Alright. Why is the black lake? Okay, somewhere near here. But I guess I'll be staying here right now, guys. Yeah, I'll be going to dive in the black lake on the next episode. I've been playing this game for 2 hours seriously because I just can't stop playing this game yeah 2 hours is just like 2 minutes for me when I play this game <laughs> yeah this is so fun to play okay guys I guess I will be splitting this episode into 2 and um, I hope you guys really enjoy watching this uh, Hogwarts Legacy. It's really a fun, fun game and I truly enjoy a lot. Yeah. So, okay guys, if you guys enjoy for today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you on the next episode.
拜。